Hello, I'm Melanie King and I'm going to be teaching you today how to make paper negatives. To make a paper negative you're usually using something like a pinhole camera or making a photogram. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to take a pinhole photograph and then this pinhole photograph is going to come out as a negative. Now if I want to make a positive so it's more understandable what it is, I need to use the paper negative process. And for that I'm going to shine light through my original paper negative and make a direct contact print onto my piece of photographic paper. I wanted to make a video like this because there aren't many videos online about this and the ones that are are very long winded. So this is a really short and snappy video which is about how to make a paper negative. Today I'm using this really cool uh, Ilford pinhole camera which has a magnetic shutter and a magnetic back so it's really good uh, if you're wanting to start out with pinhole photography and I'll be making pinhole camera making workshops in the future so do keep your eyes out for that. I'm now going to take a photograph of this tree so just pointing my pinhole camera up at the sky and then I'm going to take it in the dark room to develop it. I'm now going to put my piece of photographic paper into the developer and watch the image emerge. So you can see that I now have a negative pinhole image. It's quite a contrasty image of the tree because I was pointing directly at the sky and I wanted to get quite a strong shadow of the trees against the bright sky. And as a negative, you're not quite sure what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it to fix, give it a wash, let it dry and then put it in the enlarger. So I've got my paper negative and I'm going to use that as a negative to make a positive using my photographic paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, photographic paper out of the box and put it facing the enlarger. So emulsion side up. So the emulsion side up is the sticky side or the shiny side. Then I'm going to get my negative and I'm going to put that facing down, so emulsion to emulsion. Then I'm going to get a piece of glass, which is just a normal piece of glass from a frame, and put that directly on top of the papers. So I've got a very strong contact there. And this means that the light will not go underneath the negative. You want to get it as flat as possible. So I'm going to press on with my enlarger, but you can also use a torch or the main light, just because no light is going to get under there. So it should still work and it has worked for me in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and press on. You can now expose for 30 seconds. So I'm now going to put the paper that I've just exposed into the developer and I'll develop, stop and fix this as usual. So it's in the developer for about two minutes. And what you'll see is the image will start to appear. So now you can see I have the paper positive from my paper negative and I'll put them both together so that you can see them so here is a paper positive and a paper negative together. You can see how they're inversions of one another. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and please like, subscribe and join my Patreon.